What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I had a question about the winch on your ATV. It stopped working after you had a flat battery or a dead battery. I'm gonna go through where the wiring is, where the solenoid is, and how it's wired up and everything. So hopefully this will solve your problem, how you can find the winch fuse, or is there a winch fuse? So let's get to it. This is the winch up here. It's mounted up on the winch mount. Pretty obvious where it is and how it mounts in there. Arctic Cats are pretty cool. You don't have to have a winch mount or anything. They've got four bolt holes that are mounting holes specific for Super Winch, Warren Winch. A lot of winches will just fit. They'll bolt right on to the Arctic Cat mounting surface right there on the front of the ATV. Then you can either run a roller or a fair lead off the front. If you want this bumper, really handy to keep your winch off your fair lead or your roller. I'll leave it down in the description below. But how this is wired up, you've got two wires right here coming off the terminals of the winch, positive and negative, that are running to the winch motor. Those are going up to the solenoid. On this Arctic Cat, I've got them solenoid mounted right here on this mount. And then you've got positive and negative running back to the battery. Then you have two more wires running up to the rocker switch. If you have a rocker mounted switch or a remote switch, those wires would connect to that. Back at the battery, there's just two terminals, your positive and negative connecting from your solenoid to the battery. So it's real simple. That's all there is back here, just positive and negative running to the battery. Those other little wires were running up to the rocker mounted switch up here on your handlebars or wherever it is mounted on your ATV. Smaller gauge wire, it's just running to a switch to go in or out. Now if you just wire your winch in to your battery, this is gonna work the winch when the, when the machine is off. I've got this wired into the power switch on my ignition, so when I turn the ignition on, then the winch gets power so it's not running. If someone had bumped this with the ATV off, it's not going to run the winch. So if you're having an issue, I would check the solenoid. Make sure all your connections are good. Check it at the battery. Make sure your battery terminals are tight. I like to use a wrench to get those tight. And then come up here to your winch. You can just put 12 volt to this to test it. You might need to put it at freewheel, pull the winch line out a little bit so you have a little bit of cable space to play with. Then just you can put the battery voltage to the winch motor here and test it that way to go in or out. Just reverse the polarity. And if that's not working, I would suspect something with the motor here. You might have like issues with the magnets in there or the brushes in the motor. If there's something with your solenoid, you may just need to grab a new solenoid if it's not working properly. Just make sure all your connections are tight. Go from there, just kind of process of elimination. So hopefully this solved any issue you were having with your winch. It may just be something simple like the connections. Hopefully this video helped you out. Get your winch working again most likely just a battery connection that's probably the biggest culprit for not getting those battery terminals tight can cause a lot of issues with your atv so be sure to subscribe follow along like this video and i'll see you guys in the next one